Hey guys, Zolard here, back with another review, and today I'm very happy to bring you a review of the Gargoyles Hudson from Series 2. Um, today we're having a look at Hudson with uh, Sword Thrusting Body Blow. I believe that's what it's called. If not, you saw it in the intro. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> a little picture of him in package as well. So... If I didn't get it right, don't yell at me. I put it in the intro. Shut up and leave me alone. Okay, moving on. Um, he does come with one accessory, and that is his swad. And you just pop that out. And uh, give you a closer look at that. It's not that detailed. I mean, it's a freaking piece of gray plastic molded like a sword. Um, it would have been nice if they at least painted the handle brown. I don't know if this part was brown or not. Also would have been nice if they just molded it in the silver color like, uh... Well, do I have something in that silver color? I don't believe I do. I'm trying to look at Xanatos here. Does he have any... No, he does not have silver. That's pretty stupid. Um, Steel Clan. Like that silver on the Steel Clan right there, and on his face. They could have molded that in that silver, maybe a little bit matte of a silver, uh, matter silver. Uh, that would have been nice for the blade. I would have liked a brown handle too, and a sheath maybe. He had a sheath in the show, I believe. But whatever, nobody's perfect. And speaking of not perfect, uh, the head sculpt is pretty good, but I would have liked it if it wasn't snarling. Maybe the beard could have been a little bit longer, maybe down to here. Maybe a little bit longer hair, maybe down to where the wings connect. That would have been better. Granted, the head articulation probably would have been lost, but really. To rather have articulation or accuracy. I mean, that's the thing. People complain, oh, it's not articulated, but it looks good. Um, <laughs> I really don't care. It's a freaking vintage figure. You're not going to get much out of it anyway. Um... I mean, look at Demona. She doesn't even have head articulation, and yet they still made her look like she got a haircut. Her hair should have been down to at least her tail, maybe. She had long arse hail. hair. Hail. Yeah, right. It's winter, but we ain't getting none of that crap yet. Um, I don't recall these bolts being on his brace or, or his armband thingamajiggers either. I don't think those are there. And I think his gut's a little small. It's supposed to be a bit... I think he should be a bit bigger than that. Um, otherwise, the rest looks okay. I do like it. Maybe his nose is a little fat, but I don't. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen the show. Actually, almost ten months again. Uh, last time I watched it was in April. Granted, I watched ten episodes, but it was back in April. But I digress. Um, yeah, but articulation on this guy—he does have a swivel in the head. Uh, he's got swivel in these shoulders. Mine's sticking out a bit at the shoulder there. I'm not sure why. Uh, he's got a swivel in this shoulder as well. And my joint's pretty freaking tight, to be honest. He's got a hinge here, but that's for the gimmick. But it will stay if you leave it alone. As if, as in, uh, if it's up like this, and you have it straight, it's not really going to go anywhere unless you, like, really shake it around. Um... He's also got a waist cut, but that's for the gimmick. He's also got a kind of in and out movement, this leg, but it's for the gimmick again. He's got swivel in the legs. This one goes back quite a bit, but not forward, which kind of sucks, because I kind of wanted to get a chair for this guy so I could have him sitting in that or something like that, because he was always sitting and watching TV, kind of like me. I'm lazy like that. Oh, crap. i move that out of the way. This, this leg also moves forward quite a bit. Well, moves forward uh, and backward quite easily. So, yeah. And be weary. This part is tend to break off. Uh, so you'll have a Hudson with a severed leg. It'll still be attached, but it'll look freaking weird as crap when you pick it up. Uh, his wings also fold back and forward, and he also has a rotation in the tail, which is nice. So a decent amount of articulation for an old figure. Definitely more than their uh, Batman figures. Um... Uh, referring to Kenner, not, of course, Mattel, because they have all these joints all over the place. 
waiting for crotch joints. That'll be freaking hilarious to review something with crotch joint. But, um, his sword can go in his hand. Now, if you look here, he's got a bit of a groove. Just lie him down. He's got a bit of a groove there, which the sword slots into. You have to push it in a little bit. And then make sure it's sli sli eh. in all the way in regards to that. So his thumb is all the way up against this little, uh, I suppose, wrist guard or whatever that's supposed to be. Knuckle guard, I don't know. Um, and the handle is like right there, sticking out just a little bit. And that means pretty much your sword's in there and it's not going to fall out unless you tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, revenge it. <laughs> if you know what that is, good for you. You have an iPad, probably. Or an iPhone. But uh, the gimmick here is you're supposed to take his legs and... supposed to squeeze him and he's supposed to pretty much cut your head off. <laughs> That's child appropriate. So, yeah, it pretty much thrusts out like that. And it's not very loose on mine. Which I do like. Um, but yeah, that's the gimmick for uh, Hudson here. I'll just slide a sword up there. And there you go, there's Hudson. Now, time for size comparison. Uh, time for some size comparisons. Uh, we will just fold his wings up like that. So we can actually fit some size comparisons in here. First off, we're going to bring out uh, Broadway. i got to get the regular version now. All my gargoyles are colored but him. <laughs> I have stone camo Broadway. It was the cheapest one at the time, and now I'm seeing the regular one for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But freaking... Here's a little bit of a gargoyles fun fact. Uh, gargoyle... Er, yeah, bleh, Broadway is actually Hudson's biological son... Now, I found this out because the Gargoyles Wiki. They never really mention it in the show, but I always thought it, because, you know, they're both chunky. <laughs> they both got junk in the trunk, and they both got junk in the front, so... Yeah, that kind of made sense. And don't you think his gut is a little small? I don't know. But, yeah, he is uh, Hudson's biological son. And here is also Bronx. And I think that's a good scale, I suppose. Yeah, I think that works. Bronx is supposed to be a little a little short, so I can get Hudson's hand on his head there. Yeah, let me try that right now, actually. Can I move this up anymore? Can I just slide him under there? Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. I suppose that works. Yeah. And look, even, even Bronx's mouth is closed. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, it's sort of snarling, but it's closed for the most part. I suppose, uh... That's it. Um, did size comparisons. We did articulation, the gimmick, and stuff. So I believe that is all I have to say for this guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Gargoyles Hudson with sword thrusting body blow. Um, as ridiculous as that is. Stay tuned. I got a couple more Gargoyles figures and a Skeleton Warriors figure up next, as well as some Universal Monsters. So we're going full blown. Monster Day, I suppose. I don't know. I wouldn't call Gargoyles monsters more or less awesome stuff from the 90s. But, who cares? Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say for this guy. If I had to rate him, I'd give him an 8. He's pretty solid, even though he needs to have some more, uh, well, gut. Guttage. He needs more guttage, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. Got more on the way, as you've heard me say before. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace!